Hi friends, uh, today in this video we are going to learn ASP.NET uh, how to work with ASP.NET and uh, how to use the ASP.NET ok so let's start it go to your start and search for the Visual Basic Studio ok Visual Studio 2012 I'm using it whichever version you are comfortable you can use that so in this this is our first page so we will go to file new and create for the project which you are using in your 5th sem or 6th sem or 4th sem in BCA field so this is our form you should go and install and choose for the basic and select web so you'll get your asp.net empty website so this will be the uh, website for asp.net where you'll be working or you'll get started with so i'll name my asp.net project demo project i'll give okay so demo project then i'll click okay so my project it's getting created yeah so my project is ready so go to view open solution explorer so i'll get the details of that project which you have created in asp document so go to uh, this is my file name click this right click it go to add and add forms to work on it okay so add forms and uh, I'll keep home page okay home page okay now our page has been created this is my first page okay so in this this is how we open this sp.net on the home page okay so I'll teach you the basics how to work on with toolbox how to save bold italics how to align it so first let us take a table insert table okay i'll take around six rows and four columns okay yeah so this is our table if you insert the data anything like your, you enter your email whatever ok fine name see the tables are moving so it's before entering any detail or adding any toolbox just align it according to you ok so after aligning it doesn't move it fine the alignment has been done yes now you can add the fields so you can't directly write your like first name this is not the way okay so you have to take a label in this go to toolbox take a label and put it in this column this is the label so right click it and go to properties here you will get the text so you can name first name fine enter it your name will be changed and you can give the border style whatever is equal to how you want dotted you want whatever and you can give like font which font you need foreground color for color like I'll give a blue color okay so it will change it to blue ok so I will choose black itself ok this is all about how we use the label ok now I want to use this label align it to right side ok I want this label at right so go here align alignment ok it will be in a header file itself align to justify to right yeah mm right it's not coming 
Okay, uh, we'll leave it at left itself. We'll do it later. But uh, in this session, we are going to learn how to use it. So according to it, we'll do it. So to any enter any name field or whatever field you want to enter, it, you can use label. Now I'm going to put a text box. Okay, so text box, you know, right? Text box. You can put an align it over here. Give the width how much ever you want and uh, whatever the width you need. So it's good, like do it. Okay, this is the text box to use it. And uh, other things like you can give the drop down list. So to use a drop down list, see how to use this drop down list is that like you can expand, go to this and edit the items. So add items like yeah, mail and add one more add uh, female okay okay done there are two things okay this will be a gender so i'll take a label okay i'll move this to here and right click property so gender okay fine now it's declared so as well you can use the buttons whatever you want buttons your checkbox anything okay you can mention them fine according to it you have should to display it so this is all how we use so if you want to demo i can show like inserting so see uh, just first name and last name and mender gmail and whatever then there then use other things like uh, image button like if you want an image button to insert it just drag click it okay go to image button and add image over here give properties and select the URL uh, so so image URL is there check out the image URL what it is and uh, see it's it will show empty because you have not inserted any image over here in your project so you have to go to solution explorer you can get over here or go to view open solution explorer solution explorer and click on demo project add new folder okay and name it as images fine then take any image which you want uh, i have set on desktop an image yeah fine i'll take this copy and paste it over in this my folder okay one set so now go to image button click properties image url now my image folder is there inside that site is there so I add that yeah no photo has been come over here okay this is my image button it will work like a button fine yeah now let's save so this is save if you are working with mini forms you should give save as so this is how we use and uh, like you, you have to run this okay to run you should go to google chrome or whatever folder like you are comfortable in it so i am comfortable with google chrome and i am debugging this is our debug okay if you don't have the option to debug you can go over here and select the debug button and just start debugging okay now i have already started so it is debugged and it's in my google chrome it's loading yeah so these are the buttons see how it's working like a button this is also like working like a button okay so this is my content drop down and here whatever you want so subscribe it 
share it okay okay button this is yeah this is all about just uh, how to work with ASP.NET okay this is stop the program if you want to again this go start debugging see start debugging okay that's all thank you for watching this video please like my video subscribe and please share to your friends thank you so if you want to like how to work with insertion deletion update select and uh, like validation in this and all whatever according to your project it goes please comment me below and tell me like what could you need okay in vb.net i mean asp.net so i'll help you throughout it so i'll be uploading videos on this asp.net like insertion of data and all okay just please comment me whatever you feel like doubtful thank you